Welcome back, I'm Tedward, and today, thanks to Bond Group, we're driving a Moak. This is a revival of the Mini Moak, which would have been a small gas-powered beachcomber from the 1960s. But here we have an electric version, and it is brand new, almost brand new. This is from 2022, and the odometer has 55 miles on the clock. It's front-wheel drive, it has a range of about 40 miles, and it'll do 25 miles an hour. Now, that is obviously not formidable for Boston suburban streets. However, if you've got a beach house somewhere, maybe Martha's Vineyard, Nantucket, or you're in a small community, maybe in Florida or California, and you need something to get around and bring people to the lake, the beach, whatever, this thing does the job because it's pretty darn big. It's, it feels bigger than a golf cart. It feels more substantial than a golf cart, and it's just fast enough to be reasonable. But let me show you around this thing because it is actually pretty cool. First, it looks great because it does have that 1960s kind of style. And moak basically means mule. So it is a little mule. The front end, kind of cute. It almost has an Aston Martin style grill. So it's certainly in the right place. And there's a little bar here. So you do feel you get a tiny bit of crash protection if it came down to it. But under this hood, there's your AGM batteries and controllers not a very big motor it's pretty peppy off the line but then it just kind of tops out at you know 25 miles an hour it's got full suspension which is lovely so it's actually comfortable it even has windshield wipers with washer fluid because this is street legal we're going to drive this on the street today I was kind of hoping we were driving that today. Maybe in another another video we'll drive the Spider. But today we're driving the Moke. Um, you'll notice a brake fluid reservoir. This does have disc brakes. And gluing us to the road. Let's take a look at this. This is a 175 section tire on a 14 inch wheel with four lugs. Very cool. In the rear, drum brakes on the same size tire. But look. It's pretty reasonable, and I'll tell you, good space, you can imagine, just carrying your towels and your bags and all the stuff you might need to get down to the beach, and you'd be good to go. And it's funny, because when you look at it on the street here, you think, oh my goodness, that looked kind of pathetic. But if you had this on the island or at the beach, you would look like a complete hot shot. This is exactly the kind of thing that would give you style points to make you appear like you know exactly what you're doing. Because otherwise, you're gonna have to load up the Land Cruiser and maybe that doesn't fit in the parking spots that you wanna use. Maybe you don't wanna ruin the thing by parking it on the sand with this. You can kind of do whatever you'd like. Around back, you've even got a spare tire with a reverse camera, which shows up in that little screen right there. There's a sound system in it, so you can go downtown in the center of town, get yourself some refreshments and things before you go in, but you can also blast music and have a little party along the way. There's some storage space back here. I've got some cameras. You've got your charger, and your charger goes in right down here. And that's all you need to do. You just keep the little moke on the power and you're good to go because chances are you're only a mile or two from the beach if you're buying something like this. In the rear, you've got little moke mud flaps. You've got great bright taillights, so it is relatively safe. People will see you, which is nice. And you have a slow vehicle triangle, kind of like what you'd see on a carriage if you were in Ohio or Pennsylvania and saw people with horse-drawn carriages going down the street to the local stores. So. Let's jump in. I'm gonna show you what it's like to drive this on completely inappropriate streets, and hopefully nothing bad happens. To start the moke, we have a very simple key in ignition. We'll get this in here. We turn, and we're running. We've got a full battery, so that should give us about 40 miles of range. We're certainly not gonna use that. And to put it in reverse, or drive, we just use this. So there's no park, there's just a DNR, which is ominous because to me that stands for do not resuscitate. So hopefully we don't need to have the legal documents in place for that today. A Little bit of throttle goes a long way in this thing. You gotta put a lot of bootful into the brakes. So the throttle and the brakes are basically opposite in terms of what they do in terms of performance. But it is silent, there's no real EV whirring noise to say, hey, look what's going on here. 
but it's very easy to drive. This is for like literally anybody to just jump in and use. That's wide open. It'll get up to 25. And 25 is plenty. I don't think you really want to go much faster than that. Get into those brakes. Oh yeah, you gotta push pretty hard, but you start to feel that suspension move around a little bit. Wide open throttle. It gets up and goes for the first like 10 or 15 miles an hour and then it sort of falls off. We'll take this around the block. We'll let this Porsche go ahead of us. That's what I should be driving. And you get nods from everybody in this thing. It's hysterical. Nobody doesn't love it. I'm wide open, 25 miles an hour. Let's go up this way. We got directionals. All the things you should need for legality. Stay in it. That's as much as she's got. Let's not get hit by that. This is absolutely not the place for a moke. The moke belongs on the beach. The moke belongs at your summer home to get you to and from small places. But the moke does not belong in Boston suburbs. This is one of the riskier drives I've done for you. I think I would rather be in that Jeep I think that might be faster. Into the brakes. Back on throttle. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is crazy. How this horn is. <laughs> this is the greatest thing in the world. Oh, and that's what we should be driving today is the Beck Spider. Oh man, look at that. Pull it up over here. Well guys, that's gonna do it for the moke. That's about as much of a drive as I can stomach without getting just obliterated by traffic and really holding up traffic. This is an appropriate time of day to do this because people are pretty much at work off their lunch breaks now. So we're not impeding traffic, but obviously this thing's purpose is more to be a beachcomber. It's to be able to get from your house down the street to the beach with your friends and your stuff. So that way you don't have to walk your carts and all that stuff. But the moke is a formidable little beast.